I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Station, August 14. Don't you have anything better to do than mess with that thing, Kalyush? Oh, am I bothering you? We can't do anything without the welding person. And this way, I can at least make a record. Ha! Did you hear that? <sighs> of course I did. I'm about to go deaf from their howling. Why do you want them recorded? I heard the Polish people are studying these migration patterns and whatnot. So, they're buying records and stuff. But they have to be taken proper to the state and place and all that. I'll tell you the things that puts correct this time. They'll read it on your gravestone. Forget this thing.
Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Shame they spend so much time on the surface. Yeah, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the old metro? <coughs> <coughs> Uncle Artyom! Don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. Or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will save us. I don't know. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. 
So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering them. ...themselves for like this, but... Who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. And it's something that will save us. I don't know. I left the order. And now nobody gets to decide for me. As for our job... Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, Move, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? <laughs> I see you, all right. This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the you nurse's hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother... Brother. Uh, uh, Aha! Right. you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it! So I saw like something. This. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? If he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. A 
Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? from the roof and decided to ambush us. The bees are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. Draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? 
Look, it's our guys for the order. It looks like they're chasing that train too. Let's join them. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Damn, watchmen broke through. Uh, the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, let's do it on any the account. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't trash though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Just stay out of the light, please. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. To take him down. Can you do it quietly?
Wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking kids. All the guards will be here soon. Damn. Don't shoot. What do you him? You have to run! Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Hirmek, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to it. I'll get you out of here. There's only, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Atun, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atun. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. 